Hey man, listen. I ain't gonna hold y'all. From the looks of things, I'm gonna be saving a lot of money in October. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Yes, sir, you too. What's happening with it, man? It's your boy, Travi J. Back at you with another video. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Get up, get up, get up. Cash your checks and come on. Hey, man. Shout out to Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. The greatest rap group of all time, in my opinion. My favorite rap group, man. And speaking of Bone Thugs, I got to give a special, special shout out, man, to Crazy Bone, one of the members of the group, man. He was recently listening to the hospital in critical condition, man. So prayers up for Crazy Bone, man. Pray for Cray as Busy Bone has been tweeting, hashtagging all over social media platforms. I'm not going to dig too deep into it, man. Just put a prayer up for Crazy Bone, man. You know what I mean? It's uh. It's a rough time right now. I have heard that he is doing better, you know what I'm saying, over the weekend. So that's a blessing, man. But, man, definitely stay prayed up, man. Send a prayer up for Crazy Bone, man. That's definitely my childhood right there, man. One of my childhood idols, man. So, hey, man, big shout out to Bone Thugs and Harmony. Prayers up for Crazy Bone. But, yes, sir, we got some October releases to talk about today, y'all. And like I said, it's not too much on my radar. It's two, maybe three shoes that I'm planning on picking up this month and I already have one of them. So that says a lot right there in itself. But um, I just wanna do a quick rundown of what's releasing this month. I wanna let y'all know what I plan on copping, what I'm on the fence about, and what I'm passing on, man. No look pass, you know what I mean? And the majority of these shoes, I can tell you right now, it's a no look pass, you know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, man, while we're running through these shoes, I want y'all to comment below as well. Let me know what's on your radar, what you're on the fence about, and what you plan on leaving behind, man. What you plan on no look passing, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, we can save a lot of money this month, in my opinion. I'ma just put that out there right now, man. It's not a lot that just grabs my attention at the moment, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, before we dive into that, I need y'all to do a couple of things for me. I need y'all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I also need y'all to hit that like button, man. And get your boy back up in the algorithm um, for all my returning subscribers this is a new channel I gotta put this out there in every single video to let everybody know man this is a new channel my old channel was lost earlier in the year so I need y'all to resubscribe man lock back in with your boy man and go ahead and keep supporting hit that like button for me man so we can get these numbers back up and we can pick up where we left off at and also if you on Instagram go and give me a follow over at Travi J official that's where I post all my dope fits outfit of the day kicks of the day things of that nature man so if you give me a follow on the gram it'll truly be greatly appreciated all right so with all that out of the way let's talk about these october releases all right let's get it all right y'all so kicking off the month of october october 7th we have a women's retro two low colorway is going to be white red black and coconut milk um and i have an image up on the screen just to let y'all see what it looks like um that's not something I'm interested in. Um, these kind of popped up out of nowhere because this is the first time I'm actually seeing this. And let me preface this real quick as well. Everything that I'm reading to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting this information from 23isback.com. All the pictures are gonna be courtesy of Z Sneakerhead. So just to put that out there, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all know where I'm getting this info from. But yeah, these right here, they don't do nothing for me. Um, I don't need this shoe. Um, tools like i said i don't plan on really copping too many more tools for my collection anyway you know what i'm saying but this is a women's exclusive so y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about this one and if you plan on copping or if you plan on passing all right moving right along the same day october the 7th we have the air jordan 6 aquas um this one right here i gotta see in hand i'm on the fence about this one at the moment um nine times out of ten though i'm probably gonna end up passing on this one because i just really don't need it honestly speaking it's a play on the uh, aqua eights that released back in 2015 and i'm not too crazy about them taking og colorways and slapping them on other shoes man i mean it's they've been doing that a lot lately you know they did that with the bordo sevens the um not bordo sevens bordo sixes the hair sixes and probably a couple of other ones man but it don't work on every shoe man so i mean i think they kind of need to leave that idea alone and that leads me to believe that jordan brand is definitely running out of ideas when you start to slap um you know original colorways and things like that on different silhouettes yeah it seems like you're running out of ideas i mean look at the white cement uh jordan ones where they slap the elephant print uh, from the threes all over those Jordan ones like that. That just lets me know that you know You're running out of ideas. You're running out of creativity, man So something's going on and 
I'm not too sure in 10 years that Jordan brand may be done. I may be reaching with that, but I'm just saying, I mean, how many colorways can you make? Because it's getting to the point now, they're making the same shoes over and over, which they have been doing. Same color block and they just doing a different color on there. So y'all let me know if y'all agree with that. But uh, October 7th, Jordan 6, Aquas. Um, like I said, I will pick those up, do a review on them, but I don't think those will be standing in the collection as of now. So we can move right along. October the 13th, we have an Air Jordan 1 Low OG in that white and red colorway. These are cool, they're nice, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't think I need another Air Jordan Low in the collection, you know what I'm saying? Um, they just kind of give me, what, uh, metallic vibes, if, if you will. Um, and, you know, I'm just not going into the fall season. I just don't need another low. You know what I'm saying? Those are summertime shoes to me. So, you know, it's just nothing that I have to have per se for my collection. So those right there, like I said, I'll definitely pick them up, do a review on them, give my thoughts and opinions on them. But other than that, they're probably going to be right back out the door. You know what I'm saying? But October 13th, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low in that white and red colorway. Comment below and let me know if you plan on copying. Next up, October the 14th, we have the Air Jordan 1 Element Gore-Tex in a sky purple colorway. Not too sure if this is a women's exclusive as well. It doesn't say if it is or not. So it's probably, a, you know, a general release or whatever. But um, I don't need these as well. Um, Gore-Tex, you know, it's a... Never really been a fan of Gore-Tex shoes. The only Gore-Tex shoes that I was a fan of was those black and red women's exclusive uh, Gore-Tex 5s. And I did a review on those. Of course, it's gone now, you know what I'm saying, because it was on my old channel. But those are the only Gore-Tex that I was a fan of, you know what I mean? And speaking of which, I got to go back and get those because when I did do a review on them, I didn't get my size. So I definitely got to reach back and grab those for the collection because that was a fire colorway. It was a play. It was basically a bread Jordan 5. That's pretty much what it was. But these right here, um, they don't do anything for me. They actually look like those. Um, they kind of remind me of those LA to Chicago SB Jordan 1s. Matter of fact, I'll pull them out. Give me one second. And yes, sir. Right here, man. These, these right here, man. The LA to Chicago SB Jordan 1s. This is exactly what that shoe reminds me of, you know, as far as the colors and everything like that. So um, I got these. I definitely don't need those Gore-Tex ones at all whatsoever because these are killing those anyway. You know what I'm saying? I definitely don't need that one. So these right here are crazy, man. I haven't worn these in a while. So I definitely need to go ahead and throw these back on. I forgot how crazy these were in hand. So definitely got to put some more miles on these. But uh, if you don't have this, this shoe right here, I mean, those could possibly be a... Constellation prize, I guess. I don't know, maybe, you know, but you know, comment below and let me know what y'all think about them. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Women's Retro Sky Mauve. Um, this is another one. They remind me of the uh Brotherhood ones. Uh, it's the same color to me, they just don't have the yellow in them. And they're not bad, but if I can get them for under retail, like way under retail, I probably would pick those up, but they're not a must cop in my opinion. So I'm definitely on the fence about those. I would like to see them in hand. I would like to see what the leather quality is like on them and the materials and everything like that because I love Jordan 1s, don't get me wrong. And I wouldn't mind adding it to the collection, but I'm definitely gonna have to get them for like 100, 120 bucks, honestly speaking. That's the only way I'm gonna pick that shoe up. You know what I'm saying? Well, shouldn't say pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up and do a review on it, but to actually keep it in the collection, yeah, I'm going to have to get them for way under retail. Just just putting it out there, just keeping it real with y'all, man. You know what I mean? But uh, yes, sir. Uh, and those release as well on October the 14th. Now, don't hold me to these release dates because this is just what I'm reading from 23isback.com. Of course, y'all know how Jordan Brand does it, man. These release dates are subject to change. So don't, don't hold me to that, man. Y'all don't kill me in the comments and wait on the shoe to come out, man, and say I said it coming out on this day and end up changing the release date. Like, nah, man, they... They subject to change at any given time. All right, y'all, so moving right along, next up on October the 18th, we have another women's exclusive, which is the Air Jordan 1 Satin Breads. And bam, right here, man. We got these already, man. If y'all haven't seen my early look on these, make sure y'all go back and check that out. Um, but here they go, man. This is a, definitely a must cop for me this month. Um, I went ahead and picked them up early because I'm not too sure how this release is going to go. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't want to take any chances. I knew I wanted this shoe. So shout out to Request Boutique ATL, man. They had these in early, so I had to go ahead and cop, man. Had to go ahead and pick them up. But as y'all can see, man, you know, 
they look just like the OGs, man. The originals that dropped back in 2016, I think it was, 2015, 2016. Um, pretty much the same shoe, you know, the older pairs are just numbered and these aren't, but hey, I got mine, you know what I'm saying, so I don't have to worry about these on October the 18th, comment below and let me know if this is a must cop, these will not come in extended sizing, so if you are anything over a 10 and a half in men's, sorry to tell you, you're gonna have to miss out on these, y'all, you're gonna have to miss out on them, and blame Jordan brand, you know what I'm saying, Bigfoot gang will have to miss out on these right here, but these are definitely clean, so if you can wear up to a men's 10 and a half, I highly recommend you go after this shoe. It is it's definitely one of them ones, man. So October 18th, women's Jordan 1 satin breads. Moving right along, y'all. Next up, on October the 25th, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low 1985 in that neutral gray colorway. Um, these are clean. These are really clean but I would rather have the highs, if, if I'm honest. And I wanna go back and grab the high 85s in this neutral gray colorway as well. It's one of those that I just never went back and got. Um, at the time, I didn't really need the shoe. I shouldn't say I didn't need it. Um, I wanted the shoe, but it was just like one of those things like, uh, it's an all white shoe, all white and gray shoe. And I was on the fence about high 85s anyway. I didn't really like the way they looked at first, but once I got the, um, the uh, varsity red ones, the reverse breads or whatever, I started to like the shoe. And then of course I picked up the Georgetown high 85. So I was sold on them after that. So this is one of those ones I gotta go back and get in the highs, but the low version is cool too. You know what I'm saying? But I don't necessarily have to have these unless I get them in hand and they just blow me away by materials and everything like that. That's one I probably don't have to have in the collection. So uh, October 25th, Air Jordan one low, neutral grays. Comment below and let me know if you're copping or if you're passing on them. And next up, last but not least, my most highly anticipated release of the month of October, October 28th, which is my daughter's birthday, by the way, we have the Air Jordan 12 Cherries returning, man. First time since 2009, and it's a double up. I, I mean, it's a double up. That's all I can really say on it. Those will be had. I'm gonna try to get an early pair if possible. Um, I gotta have them. That's, you know, that is the shoe of the month for me. Like I said, that's the most anticipated shoe that I'm waiting on. I've been waiting on this shoe for years. They're finally bringing them back. And yes, we will be doubling up on those. I can't wait to get those in hand to see what they look like. And I'm sure everybody watching this right now is going after that shoe as well. I mean, it's one of those ones, man. It's like, we're supposed to be getting a shock drop on them as well. So I can't wait for that. Hopefully I can get a um, W on the shock drop. And uh, yeah, man, those will be had in the collection. I need two pairs, man. One on ice, one to rock, one to stock, man. Y'all know how we do it. And uh, that is pretty much wrapping it up for the month of October, y'all. Like I said, um, I'm gonna be saving a lot of money this month. I mean, I got satin breads already. That was one that was a must cop for me. And Cherry 12s is a must as well. It's also a double up. So those are the top two right now that I know for sure that I'm copping. Um, everything else is... It's debatable, you know what I mean? I, I can't definitively say that I'm copying anything else for the month of October. Unless they just throw something in there, you know, out of the blue. Uh, right now, those are the only two that I know for sure that are must cops for me. So, with all that being said, man, comment below. Let me know if y'all saw anything on this list that's on your radar that you may have liked, that you may be on the fence about, or, you know, that you know you're going to be passing on. Like I said, I, I think the majority of the masses is gonna be waiting on those cherry 12s for this month. Um, everybody can't wear the satin bread, so um, it's only gonna be a limited uh, amount of people that's only gonna be able to get those. So I already know, you know, that's gonna be a pass for most, but um, cherry 12s is definitely the highlight of the month, man. So uh, can't wait to get those in hand. And uh, after this month, y'all, it's about to start heating up, man. November and December is about to get real crazy, man. So start saving your coins now because these holiday releases is coming, man. So it's, it's about to get real crazy. So it's going to be a lot between November and December that I got my eye on as well, man. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, man. I don't want to make this video too long. It's probably already long enough as is. I just wanted to bring y'all my opinions on these October releases. And once again, y'all comment below and let me know what y'all plan on copping. And uh, with all that said, Man, I'm gonna go and get out of here and let you enjoy the rest of your day. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in and checking out this video. 
like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to check out my videos as well and i gotta put this out there man y'all been going crazy with the support the last couple of videos since i've been back you know uh putting out this content so i truly appreciate it just make sure y'all hitting that like button for your boy man and make sure y'all subscribing i'm seeing that a lot of people are watching the videos and not being subscribed to the channel man so make sure y'all lock in with me man like i said this is a new channel so if you're thinking that you still subscribe from last time you're not so yeah, make sure you just look down real quick make sure that button is great man you know if it's red you're not subscribed make sure that button is gray and make sure you lock back in with me man and i got plenty of more content to come your way but uh i'm gone man i know y'all tired of me talking your head off i'm gonna let you get to doing what you was doing but before i go i just want to let you know you never get a second chance to make a first impression so always put your best foot forward and on that note y'all stay blessed y'all stay fresh and i'm gonna get at you on the next one all right in a minute